Okay, guys, um, to access a scholarly article, um, first you need to understand what a scholarly article is. So a scholarly article comes from typically people in academia um, or research institutions um, that is centered around a topic or an idea. Um, when you have professors at colleges, their primary work is not necessarily in teaching, it's in research. Um, so what they do is they do funded research and then they will publish their findings in an academic journal. Um, and this covers all types of fields. There's psychology and anthropology and science and mathematics and um, literature, art, everything. So within each field, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of journals. So to help kind of um, sift through all of these different journals, there's a number of databases which um, kind of help organize all of this material. So I'm going to show you guys how to find a scholarly article using the Garden City Library databases. Um, so when you go onto the gc3library.com, um, you'll log in, you'll see there's a uh, go over to databases, you'll click on EBSCO host. Um, Academic Search Premier, EBSCO, and JSTOR are typically the top ones that are used for English. Um, so you'll go in and you'll, you'll, you'll log in um, and then you will click on EBSCO research databases. Within this you'll see there's a whole list of databases you can choose from. I suggest doing Academic Search Premier. Um, or EBSCO, or I'm um, sorry, JSTOR if they have it. But um, not every institution uses the same databases, so I'm going to look really quick. We do have an EBSCO host here um, that you guys can use. Um, we also have, I think we have, no, we don't have JSTOR. So we're going to use Academic Search Premier. Um, you're going to click into that database. Now, Academic Search Premier, the way you can search is by a number of different things. You can search by author, you can search by keyword, or you could search by um, uh, title of the work. So say I want to do Edgar Allan Poe. I could type Edgar Allan Poe. Um, and a number of topics would come up. I see there's all kinds of things. There's academic journal articles. There's periodical, periodicals. Um, there's videos, there's reviews, so I need to narrow this down. So um, I might narrow my search just to academic journals. And I see there's a number of different things that, that we could talk about. Um, uh, we could talk about um, the democracy and death of Edgar Allan Poe, so the figure himself. Um, we can see informed consent, informed consent in an Edgar Allan Poe tale. All of this sounds very interesting, but what if it has nothing to do with what I want to talk about? Um, then I might go back and I might look at Edgar Allan Poe um, and you see a whole list of things kind of pop up. You could look at the ideas of mental illness in his works um, and this might come up with a different set. So this is Edgar Allan Poe's uh, Telltale, uh, Telltale Start, um, Poe in Russia, The Mask of Red Death. Um, there's a number of different things here. So again, I'm going to refine my search to academic journals only. I'm going to see what I come up with. And I look through and I see that it's not quite what I want. So say I wanted to do Telltale Heart. And again, a number of things pop up to kind of suggest ideas for you. You could do Telltale Heart, say, and Insanity. Um, so say I wanted to do uh, tell. let me see what else comes up on Telltale Heart. Um... I might do Ego, Evil, and the Telltale Heart, which is a very interesting sounding one, or the Accomplice in a Telltale Heart, or Feminist Reading of Poe's Telltale Heart. So if I click in and I start reading, there's a number of things I want you guys to notice. Um, so look, of course, at the author. The source would be the journal that it's published in. Um, and it even tells you the type of, say, critique it might be, or the, the, the focus. Um, but most journal articles will provide an abstract at the top, so you don't have to waste your time reading through it with it not being the right um, the right article for you. So this I see provides a feminist reading of Telltale Heart, evidence of the female gender and the narrator, which is a very interesting. Um, 
and we look at the female situation in the narrator. Say I'm writing a, a, a paper that talks about um, gender dynamics in Telltale Heart, this would be perfect for me. If I'm not writing anything about feminism or gender in Telltale Heart, say I'm writing about um, Mask of Insanity, that would be a useless article for me. So I would go back and I would find another article. Um, but say I want to read this article. I'm going to look at the PDF text and it's going to let me read the contents, the full contents. Um, now here's the thing. Journal articles, as you can see, can be incredibly long. Um, some of them are just a couple pages. Some of them are 30 pages. So if I don't have the time to say read an entire article, what is typically done is you do a skimming or a speed reading of, of the article. So you'll, you'll kind of skim through and I'll see sexual identity, discrimination features prominently in masculine readings. Okay, this sounds interesting. This could be something that I would want. Um, so I'm getting to sort of her thesis here in the first paragraph. She says, by positioning out a, a female narrator, I propose to dislodge the earlier patriarchal notion of a male narrator for the story. I argue instead, blah, 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 blah. So she's arguing for a gender marked rereading of the, of the story. Um, I like this idea. I think it can fit with what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep skimming. And what I'm going to be looking for are key um, areas where what the author is saying can be used as support for my own argument. So um, say I find a good passage in here as I'm kind of skimming and I see something that's talking about um, displacement. This is a great idea. I'm going to see, I'm going to use some of this and I'm going to kind of read this in depth, but I may not read everything in depth. Um, I might look at, look down and see that something is, that um, we're talking about Lacan's theory, this Oedipal myth. The Oedipal myth is nothing that I want to talk about. I'm not going to use it. Um, so that's how you read a scholarly article. When you go to put it into your essay, what you do is you pull quotes from the scholarly article just like you would quotes from any narrative or any poem. So you want to pull quotes that support your argument and use that as evidence to support your claim. Um, you also want to make sure that you introduce the author by the first and last name and the title of the article because what you're doing is you're showing your audience that you are using a credible source that's come from a scholarly journal that is a credible author and therefore your argument has more merit and more credibility. So that's why we use scholarly articles um, and hopefully this is a clear explanation of how to find them and how to use them in the database.